Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on Do Not Worry. In Matthew 6.25, we read as, Do not worry about your life. Someone said, Worry is like a rocking chair. It keeps you moving, but doesn't get you anywhere. Anxiety is something which all of us have. Irrespective of our age, possessions, social positions and other accumulations in our life. In a study, it is learned that 85% of our worries are about the things that would never happen or happened. 97% of our worries are not much more than a fearful mind punishing us with exaggerations and misperceptions. When Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, in the starting of the verse, he linked this statement with the other teachings he had given on treasure and money. Then the understanding we derive from this context is that Jesus would have referred about the over-concern we have to accumulate things in order to keep our future more secure and comfortable. When a man set aside the God of righteousness and accepts the God of material things, he becomes greedy, covetous, and totally preoccupied with material possessions. When we cease to trust God for our needs, we become enslaved to material things. When seeking after the material things occupy our life, possessing and keeping things would be the goal of our life. This makes us over anxious for our material and physical needs. When we see people with a higher standard of living than our own and feel pressure to match with those standards, we look for ways to make more money. In the process, we would end up taking work with longer hours, taking high pressure jobs and compromising on business ethics. This will end up causing more worries on a daily basis. When we worry, we convey that means in life are more important than our life. When we worry, we miss the real meaning of life. When we worry, we display the unbelief in God. When we worry, we behave like non-believers who have not tasted the nature of a true, living and personal God. When we worry about certain things, those things would be the first thing we think about in the morning and the last thing we think before sleep. It would occupy our spare time and conversations. It would become our master and eat out all the happiness of our daily life. A worried mind means chronically stressed brain. A chronic stress generates serious problems. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. Worry is the interest we pay on tomorrow's troubles. Worry is an indication that we think God cannot look after us. Worries shift the focus from the sufficiency of Christ to our human insufficiency and insecurity. Worry is a sin because it displaces God in our life and it distracts us from the things that really matter in life. Jesus does not convey that we can quit working because God will provide. The point is that we do not have to be anxious because God is our shepherd and provider. We have to do our work, but at the same time, there is no need to be anxious about its outcome. We should not spend our life worrying like the non-believers. God values us 
much more than the birds and he can be completely trusted for our needs worry is unnecessary because we have a father in heaven who loves us and cares for us the people belonging to god have to keep worry aside worrying is an unfruitful effort the cure for anxiety is in seeking his kingdom and its righteousness also prayer helps to overcome worry on a daily basis may god enable us to cast all of our worries on him as he cares for us thank you for listening god bless you